What's up my casual Yugi fans? This is Casual Yugi Stuff, welcoming you to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Mail Day video. This uh, video is uh, Series 5, Episode 3. Already well underway with the big high five, Series 5. Um, as you can see here in front of us today, guys, we have two medium parcels. And I'm very, very, very excited to see what we have inside of here. So, um, how are you all doing, guys? I thought I'd ask you, um, let me know in the comment section below if you're having a good day, if you're having a bad day. I uh, love talking with you guys, and um, basically, yeah, today we're going to be opening these two, getting some awesome bits and pieces I can't wait to get my hands on. Of course, we use protection here on the channel, so we'll be sleeving up all of our uh, cards which we get with soft sleeves. Um, actually, literally down to my last soft sleeves. Um, these are like recycled soft sleeves, which aren't the cleanest, but unfortunately, um, you never know, you got to use protection. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, here today, um, yeah, we'll be opening these two guys. I uh, hope you're doing well, as I've already said. And yeah, without further ado, let me just grab my knife. There it is. And let's crack open these pieces of mail. Remember, if you're new to the channel and want to join the Casual Yugi Stuff crew, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up this video. If you're enjoying the mail uh, series and videos, guys. Oh, someone's returned mail. So go. Here we go. Let's crack open the first piece of mail. Sorry guys, as you can probably tell, I'm in a quite upbeat mood today, so please try to excuse my excitement. Ugh, whenever mail comes through the post, I'm very excited. So, first piece of mail. Let's do this. Ugh, come on. Ugh, let me cut through this. What am I doing? I'm being lazy. There we go. Okie dokie. Oh my god, this is literally hard to open. Okay, there we go, the big rip. The big rip. Okay, dokie. This is a PSA graded card, everybody. Get ready for this stunner. It's an absolute stunner. It was a fantastic buy, indeed. Very, very, very chuffed with it. It's been a while since we've actually bought a PSA graded card. I think it was back in Series 2, which was the last um, PSA graded card that you got, which was our Dark Magician. Uh, which we eventually traded away to collect the 179. And also we picked up a Shining Phoenix Enforcer, which I only recently sold. Sold slash traded. So yeah, this card is stunning, guys. I had to pick it up when I saw it. Actually, a friend of mine was like, bro, look at this eBay purchase. Maybe you should get it for your, for your uh, collection. And I was like, yeah, absolutely, I will. So without further ado... Let's have a look at this PSA graded card. It's been a while, it really has. So, looking at the back, stunning condition. Just want to keep you guys guessing to what condition this will be in. It's been a while, let me put my thumb here. It's a Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End, The Lost Millennium from 2005. This is a PSA. Boom! 10. Gem Mint 10. Um, Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End, so that's a stunning card. Obviously it's not the Invasion of Chaos one, but it's the next best thing you could say, and I think any Chaos Emperor Dragon fan should own this version, because it was the second printed card in Ultimate Rare. Actually, that might be wrong. When was Dark Revelation 2? That could have been the second printing of this card. Maybe this is the third printing. Let me know in the comment section below if you know that, because I don't want to be telling you facts if they're false facts, so make sure you uh, don't listen to a word that I say, and uh, yeah, and admire that gem in 10, gorgeous. Hopefully we will have had our PSA graded returns by the time this video gets up as well. Should be in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, this is the issue when I film these videos in advance, uh, you guys are pretty unsure of what, what I get when. Anyway, second piece of mail, first was this gem in 10, okay, I'll the dragon. Here was the second piece of mail. Okie dokie, what's in here? Hmm, mm, let's have a little look. Okay, so, if we have a little look inside of here, we have a funny little box, which has someone else's address on it, which is pretty weird. Let's see how this opens. Let's see. Okie dokie. Holy moly. Oh my god. Yeah, I know what this is. <laughs> this is a whole load of cards, everybody. Ultimate rares indeed. Righty ho. So, I'm going to have to go through these pretty much one by one. 
So here we are. Uh, we have a Supreme Arcanite Magician from uh, Star Strike Blast. Let me see if I can just turn on the light, guys. Is that better for you? Yeah, I think that's better. So we pick up our first card, and we have a uh, Supreme Arcanite Magician, Ultimate Rare, First Ed. Let's check the gorgeous condition of this card. Sorry, it's from the bottom. <laughs> My bad. All right. Supreme Arcanite Magician. It looks good. Little maybe little ding there in the corner. But yeah. Ooh, very nice condition. Very, very nice. We'll sleeve it up in a soft sleeve for the first ultimate rare card in the bundle. And as you can see behind him, there's the Arcana Magician. Unfortunately, not first edition. Not a first edition magician. But yeah, Arcana Magician Assault Mode. Recently uh, sold one of these to the good friend of the channel, yu gi -Old. Make sure you check him out. I'll link him up in the information little bubble up here, so make sure you check him out. Right, second card is Arcane Knight Magician, a stunner. Look at that. Look at that ultimate rare, guys. Look at these, look at these circles as I sort of zoom in and, and home out of him. Makes it look like it's really moving. Looks like there's a force field of energy with that sort of spellbinding circle uh, text in the background. So that's a good condition card on the front and the back. Great, other than the imprint of the Ultimate Rare stamp, which is inevitable. Unfortunately, with these, you know, first ed cards, with these, sorry, with these Ultimate Rare cards. Then, next up, we have a Scrap Twin Dragon. Gorgeous one. Didn't own this card, so very happy to add this one to the collection. Let's have a little look. Wow, that is good condition. That is really good. Maybe a little bit of scuffing there, but definitely near mint. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Scrap Twin Dragon. You'll be amazed at the price I paid for these cards, guys. All of them, $50, effectively. Yeah, $50 for all of these. Chaos Emperor, not really going to disclose the price I paid for this because I'm looking maybe to resell it. So, so yeah, I just thought I'd mention my plans with all these cards because I'm, I bet you're sat there at home thinking what is casual Yugi stuff what is Jamie going to do with all these cards okay there's two cards here let me just put that one down here we have a live stream dragon first edition very happy with this ultimate rare card it's really gorgeous fantastic sign of dragon check the condition seems to be good on the front how's the back Ooh, a little, little scratch there, and a little white nick here in the corner. Still, great for my binder, guys, need this card, so absolutely fantastic. Pop our live stream dragon right there, and here we go for a TG Wonder Magician. Cool card from the Extreme Victory. I'm not sure about you, but do you prefer the... Oh my goodness. Do you prefer the um, sort of outline ultimate rare, sort of makes it look like it's silver, or do you prefer just as it is the normal ultimate rares? So let's say Arcane Knight Magician, for example, which doesn't have that. It's got normal borders. I mean, at first I really didn't like this, but I'm start it's starting to grow on me, this sort of rarity. This is a mint card, isn't it? TC, TG Wonder Magician. What does it do? When this card is synchro summoned, select one spell trap card on the field and destroy it. When this card on the field is destroyed, draw one card. During your opponent's main phase, you can synchro summon this face up card you control as a synchro material monster. Not bad. Pretty good effect, actually. One tuner, one or more. One tuner, TG. So it's sort of related. It's a TG deck. Only a TG's. TG supported decks. Moving on, Ancient Fairy Dragon. We have this unlimited ghost rare in our binder, so we'd update it with a beautiful unlimited. Oh my god, look at these circles in the wings, guys. That's incredible. That's gorgeous. That's stunning. Wow. Look at those two sort of shoulder blades as well. Ooh, this is a nice condition, everybody. I love Ancient Fairy Dragon. I love 5Ds. More than GX, guys, I think, just because I'm watching the series and I really enjoy 5Ds, uh, Synchros. I really do. Synchros are my favourite. Summon, I think. 
Right, moving on, we have a Trident Dragon. Gorgeous, first ed. A little bit of whitening here on the corner, I can see. But, again, for $50, guys, all of these was a freaking steal. Trident Dragon, this doesn't have the outer effect because it's from Raging Battle, but still really, really gorgeous. Yeah, a little warped <coughs> little side there and a the bit of scuff on the back. So I'd say this is very light play. Maybe just light play. Still a stunner of a card. Moving on, we have Mr. Jack Atlas, a strong wind dragon. Gorgeous. First, they had a little bit of wear on the bottom. So let's check out the condition. Strong wind. Wow. Yeah, it's good. Nice card. Really, really nice card. I like that. I like that a lot. Room for our strong wind dragon in the corner? Yeah, there is. Let's just align everything up so when we get them all out, we can put them properly all aligned. So guys, that's the first set of... Uh, how many cards are there? Nine? Three, six, nine. Three, six, eight, sorry. And uh, we still have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I want to see where you put, this one's five pounds and this one's six pounds. Let's see what those are. So he wanted six pounds for this. Hmm. Loki, Lord of the Aesir. Let's have a look at Loki. Unlimited. Um, this will fit well in my binder though. You know I collect unlimited and first editions for my binder. Don't really mind. Because the issue is with first editions, if they're in near mint, I want to grade them. So that's why I go for the unlimited. Good condition. You can see the stars being printed on the back there. As well as the ultimate rare lines. Other than that, Loki is in good condition. Nice. Lord of the Azir. Now we have this. He wanted £5 for this uh, Voltic Bicorn. Which I think is reasonable price. Voltic Bicorn. Nice card. Good condition. Unlimited. Gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Running out of sleeves here, guys. Let me just grab a few more out. So our Voltic Bicorn is in good condition. Happy with that. Now we have a revived King Hades. Or Hades. I like to say Hades. But the old school expert used to say Hades when he was making his videos, so in memory of, we could say. What a cool card this is. I love the way that they, you know, remade sort of old school, you know, Labyrinth of Nightmare, a Legacy of Darkness, sorry, um, Dark Ruler Hades in a gorgeous synchro, which has obviously got a cool effect for, for zombies. Um, Plague Spreader Zombie as well, which is one of the first tuner cards along with, you know, Crebons, which really change the way synchros worked and it's really meta relevant back in the day plague spread a zombie here he is speaking of the devil speaking of the zombie um used to be played in in most decks back in the day i really love this card in ultimate rare such a stunning card um i used to play this in my light swan deck in fact i remember my brother actually packing a first edition ultimate rare version of, of plague spreader I just think the blue flames on this is really, really fantastic. You can tell it, it's like a... kind of reminds you of, you know, Game of Thrones, when obviously the Viserion uh, is ridden by the, obviously, the Night King. No spoilers, by the way, guys. I do apologise for spoilers. <laughs> just the blue flames, you know, of a ice dragon, you could say. And obviously, he's a he's a dead card, so he's a, he's a zombie. So, undead, technically. So, really, really like Plague Spread a Zombie. Always had a nice, soft place in my heart. Moving on. Goya Guardian. It's a big shame that this is not first edition because all the ones in my binder on my The Dwarves Genesis page are in first edition, but at least they're ultimate rare. At least this is ultimate rare, so. And in really good condition. But yeah, I'm happy with Goya Garden. Guardian. We can replace our unlimited um, ultra rare. Yeah. So, Goya Guardian. There we go. Then we have a Natural Warrior. We have Natural Warrior first ed, but I wanted another one because I'm greedy. And I wanted to create awesome content for you guys on the channel. So Nitro Warrior. Little ding there. Other than that, really, really clean card. No holo scratches. 
That's a nice card, actually. Nurture Warrior. Honestly, guys, these cards, first ed, will be definitely rising in price. So if you see some, you know, your locals on eBay, on Craigslist or whatever it is that you use, guys, make sure you pick some up for a good price because I'm telling you these cards will rise. I'm kind of investing slash collecting at the moment. That's my motto. So I'd like to give you some advice. If I could give you some advice, if you want to take it, feel free to, feel free not to. But you might be saying, oh, yeah, Casual Yugi stuff totally gave some awesome advice by investing in these first edition, you know, the Duelist Genesis Crossroads of Chaos, uh, 5Ds cards, because we're now we're seeing a spike on the GX cards. I think definitely we'll see something for the uh, for the 5Ds cards very soon. This Montage Dragon is pretty good condition. First edition. I have one pretty much uh, mint, so this one may, will be up for trades or sale. However, I'm going to hold on to them and hold until they rise in price, because... Who knows, maybe discarding cards from your hand or monsters from your hand will be will be good, like Montage Dragon. You can discard three other monsters from your hand to the graveyard. This card's attack is equal to the level times 300. So you never know, like Dangers, for example. That could be a good card for Dangers. You never know. Anyway, moving on, we have a Thunder Unicorn to go with our Bicorn over there. So we'll put this next to it. Seems to be in good condition. Wow, that's an awesome ultimate rare. That's fantastic. Dread of Tools Revolution. Little ding there and there. Other than that, stunning card. Great condition. We'll take it. Sleeve it out. Put it there, actually. Alright, guys, we have a few more cards left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards still left. Here's another unicorn. So, Lightning Tracorn. <laughs> Let's take this out of the sleeve and check this condition. So we managed to complete all the, excuse me, oh, just fighting off a cold at the moment, everybody, so I do apologize. Lightning, tricorn, little ding. Those all seem to have little dings on them, which is a bit unfortunate, but what can you do? We'll sleeve up this lightning, tricorn. Which side is it? Which side is it? There it is. Lightning. Tricorn. Okie dokie. One second. Let me just rearrange myself. What a beautiful backdrop we're getting here, guys. Look at all these cards. Chaos Emperor Dragon will have to move, sort of. <laughs> we'll put him. Ooh, we'll put him out of the screen. He's been replaced by his alternate rares. Next up, Dragon Knight Draco Equist. Or Equist. Unlimited uh, ultimate rare card. Have this in Ghost Rare, played condition, but I thought I'd get the Ultimate Rare as well for the Binder. Ooh, this is in great condition. Absolutely nothing wrong with that one. Haven't actually got to the stage in 5Ds where Yusei uses this yet. One Dragon type Synchro Monster plus a Warrior Monster, but I'm sure I will very soon. I'm literally, the uh, Fortune Cup is about to kick off where I'm at in 5Ds, so. So yeah, no spoilers, please. <laughs> Moving on, this card is always one that always seemed pretty cool to me. Infernity Doom Dragon. This is gorgeous. I really love its sort of crazy eyes and, and, and weird sort of tree skull here and, and sort of small wings for the big size of, of the dragon. So let's have a little look at this. This is from The Shining Darkness, which is the last set to not have the shiny borders, if I remember correctly, because then it was Star Strike, Star Strike last. Infernity Doom Dragon. Oh yes, that's awesome. That's no dings on that. That's a great condition card. Sleeve this beautiful one up. Then we have a Chaos King Archfiend. Again, I always say this whenever we get him. We got him in Series 3, Episode I think 7 or 8, something like that. Um, and he... Oh wow, look at that ultimate rare, guys. That's such a cool card. 2626, what a funky card. Perfectly mint condition as well, the Shining Darkness. Unfortunately, guys, we're down to our last sleeve. But yeah, awesome card, really, really nice. Fabulous, fantastic, amazing, gorgeous, stunning, beautiful. <laughs> All of the words of the, of the description. Sorry, guys, I've just kicked off to go and grab a few more sleeves, but I don't seem to have many. Unfortunately. Oh, 
there they are more sleeves so we're down to really these are our last last sleeves so we'll be ordering some more let me just take those out and use them these are my new sleeves so that's good moving on i do apologize for a little delay we have a real warrior first edition from absolute power force we have one of these but this one's mint condition so we thought we had to pick it up stunning little ding there there and there Definitely a name card. I think the one I have is better condition than this, so we'll be trading this. Then we have an Explosive Magician. One of the cards I sent to Yu-Gi-Oh! old again. His was first edition. Did have a little ding though. This one is unlimited. But it's such a nice card. Such a cool one. Oh wow, you can really feel the texture of the Ultimate Rare on this one. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Lovely. Guys, by the way, in the comment section below, let me know which has been your favourite card here today. Three more to go. XX Sabre Gotham's, which comes as a, in a tin, I believe. Wow. I love it. Quite a long video, guys. I do apologise, but as you can see, we're trying to go through each card pretty quickly. First day at X Sabre Gotham's. I think this is about a $20 card, actually. In, in mint condition, which this one is. Stunning. Gorgeous. Then we have Odin, father of the Aesir. Take it out. So this is the Nordic God card, basically. This is pretty much rare, I'd say. Best one. Look at those ultimate rare thunder and, and clouds in the background. Storm of Ragnarok. Building. But. Not too bad, all in all. And finally, the last card is, if you haven't guessed it already or seen it, is Thor, Lord of the Aesir. 3,500 attack. What a beast. Look at Thor. Wow, that's such a nice card, isn't it? Fabulous. Fabulous indeed. So yeah, guys, that has been all of the cards in the mail. As you can see here in front of us, we managed to pick up three times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So obviously three times eight, 24, 25 ultimate rare cards um, here today. And as well as our um, ultra rare Chaos Emperor Dragon and Boy of the End in uh, the Lost Millennium PSA 10, which is really, really nice to see. I uh, hope you enjoy this uh, pretty great uh, episode three of series five. And uh, yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below if you if you want any of these or if you want to trade me these, if you want to purchase any of these, if you want to just chat with me and tell me which card you uh, you can relate with the most or which has been your favorite here today. Let me know and um, I can definitely hit you up in the comment section below. Thank you so much for all the love and support on the channel as well, guys. We've been doing so, so well, honestly, and I'm thinking about doing another giveaway sometime soon. So, uh, yeah, make sure you keep the love and support going, guys, which I really, really appreciate. Here on Casual Yugi Stuff, guys, I don't want to ramble on for too long. We're almost 25 minutes in. So, yeah, being Casual Yugi Stuff, guys, check out my other videos if you're new to the channel. Please like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and what else to say other than I hope you've had a really, really nice time watching this video and you're... Uh, have a really nice rest of your day, guys. As usual, it's been casual, you stuff. Signing off. Catch you all in the next video. Peace and much love.